Okay, so since uh, car camping has like been popping up on my radar, uh, there's like a little subcategory of it that like I've had my eye on. It's kind of like an important part to it because you can't always camp, you know, at a campsite or you know somewhere where you're, we'll just say allowed to be. So every once in a while, you need to stealth camp. The cyborgs are ready to come with the deadly weapons we carry and slaughter. Watch out! Drive through your hood, find your leader and crew. So the goal for today's video is to make the inside of my car a little more stealthy as for when I'm inside it in case I need to park up in like on some public street or neighborhood or whatever else. Um, just so that way people don't know I'm inside sleeping in my car because you know that's a little dangerous. I'm pretty sure it's not really legal in some areas. So this just kind of helps avoid all of that. So what I got here is I got some uh, insulation foam like they're double sided reflective stuff. Uh, I got a 10 foot roll of it. So I'm going to open this up. We're going to like fan it out against my window and then I'm gonna take this permanent marker here and just trying to trace my window loosely and then we'll cut it out and I got some black fabric that I'm just gonna staple to the other side I'm gonna do this for the sides in the back window and um, then we'll put it set it all up at night and turn all the lights on inside the car and see if we can see inside or like you know hopefully it works so let's uh, head outside and start cutting I guess or start tracing and cutting Okay, so all of my uh, back windows have limo tint on them, so I'm really just going to focus main priority on the passenger and driver side doors um, for the insulation, and then whatever I have left for the back I'll use up, but yeah, I've kind of got it pre-measured out right here. I'm measuring from like the edge of the door here to like right here, and I'm going to cut a strip, and then I'll uh, pull out the permanent marker and line it up, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this, honestly. I'm going to... Cut the camera and, I don't know, I might have to do this at work where I have some help. So it's the next day and I had the bright idea to just put like the foil up against the window and then shut my door and then from the inside I could like push up against the window um, so it like fits and then I just took a permanent marker and then like did a very aggressive outline. I probably ruined the point tip end on the permanent marker but you know, I also hope I'm getting low enough to uh, be in the shot. Anyways, so I got, I managed to get like a good stencil of the front windows and a good one of the back. I ended up not having a little insulation pads to cover up all my windows, so I get paid tomorrow, so we're gonna have to run to Home Depot after I get paid and uh, fix that solution. But at least I can like cut these out and get the stencils for them, and then uh, tomorrow when I get that new roll, I can just lay these out and cut over these. Um, that way I don't gotta do that whole sitting in my car and looking weird thing again. I will have to do it for the back window because that's a new window, but we'll get to that problem when we uh, get there. So I'm just going to cut these out real quick so it's not taking up a bunch of space. And then I might do my uh, other drive, like the other driver or the passenger side window is over there. This is the driver in front of you guys. Um, um, I want these to be a little too big. So I'm honestly going to cut on the outside of the lines and then I can clean up. I know you guys can't see me, but I can clean up um, the edges. So I'm just going to make a rough cut. Shit, I didn't even realize this was like bubble wrap inside. <laughs> All right, that's the little side panel window for the back. All right, now we just gotta wait to like and uh, get paid tomorrow and go pick up that second roll of insulation, and then we'll put this over that one. Same with these two. Uh, recut them, do the back window, and then staple some bag black fabric onto this. Um, I'm gonna go shove this one in my driver's side window just to make sure it fits and everything and is all good. Hopefully I didn't fuck this up too bad. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I needed some extra help, so I uh, came back to my buddy Drew's house. Hey! And uh, we actually got it. Fucking perfect fit. It stays up. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. So now we're just gonna lay this out on the on some more, trace it for the driver's side. And then we just gotta do this one more time? Five more times. So, wish us luck. Now we trace. Well, cut then trace. We're literally gonna do this as efficiently as possible. One thing about me is I value Efficiency, more than anything else. Fuck, I already fucked up. <laughs> Alrighty. Now we just cut that a little bigger than what I did, because it was always easier to trim down than to go up. 
think I fucked that up. Okay, we're good. Somewhat similar. This one's definitely bigger, but hey, bigger is better. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, you can definitely cut some off the bottom by a good amount. That was a little close. Holy. So we finished it, all the cars blocked in. And when you go inside, we turn the lights off. It's fucking pitch black damn near. You can't see anything. I don't even think you can see me right now, but if you can, hello. But yeah, so that's pretty much done. Uh, I just need to go and cover all the pieces with black fabric and yeah. So I'll see y'all when they're covered in fabric. <clears throat> All right, so the uh, window covers are all done. I didn't feel like filming it because I did half of them with my niece and I just don't want to put her on YouTube. Understandably, there's some creeps out there. Um, and then I just kind of like, wanted to bang through the, doing the last uh, four windows in the back. I didn't put any uh, cloth on the back back window because it's a limo tent. You're not gonna be able to see anyway. And it's just for like privacy reasons. So we're just gonna go test it. I'm gonna go set up all of the window covers and then turn on the lights in my car. I know there's gonna be some light leaks, but that's kind of why we're testing it now, just to uh, see. Just for a bit of a reference point, like you can see in the car. A little less in the back, but you can still see like some seats right there, or the floor on my seats and stuff. So we're just trying to prevent all of that goodness. So without further ado, so I'm gonna either time lapse or just cut and it'll be all the windows will be covered and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um do, 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 do. You know what, I'm just gonna cut when they're all set up and stuff because I don't feel like struggling with the camera and all of that. So I'll see you guys once it's like fully set up and we'll see what it looks like and how well it works or it doesn't work. So apparently the shitty fucking fabric I bought from Walmart is the most slippery fucking material ever because uh, these back window shades don't wanna stay on. So I'm gonna go grab some fucking duct tape before I punch a goddamn hole in my window because these things were perfect fits and they stayed up when we tested them. You guys saw the footage, but now both of these want to fucking just not stay in the fucking window, and it's very annoying. So, I'm gonna go get some tape before I fucking break my car out of anger. BRB. Alright, so shooting very high ISO, so sorry if the footage look li looks like shit. But, um, this is like the complete setup pretty much. Like, obviously you can tell the car is on, you can hear it. But from looking on the outside, I mean, okay, maybe... Yeah, if you crouch down, so I'll put like some hoodies there in the back or something just to block that view. Not, okay, there's a little bit of leakage. So we're gonna block that with some tape. And then like, yeah, I might tape up the corner of just like my windshield here. But as you guys can see, when you open the door, the lights aren't open just because my door is open. The lights were on that whole time. Like, yeah, these shades definitely fucking do their job. I mean, hell, you can tell because it's nighttime and you can still see like behind there that the lights are on. But yeah, in any of the seats, you cannot see in, which is exactly what I was going for. So yeah, let me just show you guys what it looks like on the inside, I guess. Alrighty, and this is my view from the inside. So it's a lot of just like panels around me and stuff, but yeah, I got, I can't see out, so. If I get a knock, that's gonna be a little suspicious, but 
you know hopefully it's never a cop but uh yeah so it's pretty much setup done for right now this is like v1 of the car camp setup you guys need to let me know where you guys want to see me like stealth camp and stuff like that because i can now literally take this anywhere and stay in it and yeah i want to thank you guys so much for coming on this like journey with me of just you know this is kind of like the first time i've ever built something for myself and you can kind of tell with all the tape how well that really worked out in the end like i got some tape there 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 but i'm just gonna buy some masking tape and we'll call it good for on actual camp night so again i want to say thank you guys for coming along this journey with me um i had a lot of fun making these and i can't wait to make more car, car camping videos in the future fumbled over my words there um and yeah let, again let me know where you guys want to see me camp at i want to go take pictures all around the u.s and eventually the rest of the world too well mainly the rest of the world the u.s is just more obtainable right now Alrighty, thank you guys again um if you could do me a solid and hit that like button leave a comment of again where you want me to travel to and then uh, if you liked what you saw subscribe i post i'm trying to post every monday friday whenever i'm hyped on a video i think i have a life of pie coming out or a life of p life of pie i don't forgot what the game is called but that's the next video that's going to come out i'm going to play the demo of that and hopefully it's good i don't know i haven't done it yet but um, yeah, so again, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube shit, and I'll see you guys on Monday with that video. Peace. Hey.